Hi, this is Dr. Sandra in Peoples, and I'm here with a video how to create your free Kindle publishing account. This is the second video in response to people who have said that the first video I created did not really show them how to actually create the account. And after I watched the video myself, I saw that it was kind of lacking in some details. So hopefully this video makes up where that one left off at. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and log in. We'll go to the KDP page and then we'll get started from there. Okay, so now we're here at kdp.amazon.com. That's the page you need to be on if you are going to upload a book to Kindle Direct Publishing. Now, I don't, um, I have not published the book in other countries, books in other countries from the different individual uh, pages. So if you're in a different country, this is for people who are using this specific page, the kdp.amazon.com. I will have to do a little more research on uh, setting this account up in other countries. But as for now, um, this will be for people who use this site, the Amazon.com, not EU or any of the other extensions. Okay, so once you get here to KDP.Amazon.com, then you're going to see this page right here where it says sign in with your Amazon account. If you're already an Amazon user, you can use your Amazon uh, sign on that you already have. But if you don't have an account, you're going to click sign up. Then you're going to enter your, uh, you're going to enter an email or phone number. And if you already have an Amazon password, you're going to enter that password. If you're a new customer, you're going to click I'm a new customer. And then they're going to let you create your password later. So I'm going to enter an email um, or phone number. And I'm going to sign in as a new user. And then uh, we'll go. Okay, so once you've, uh, enter your email address and click that you're a new user. You're going to be taken to the registration page to create a new account with um, Kindle Direct Publishing or Am Amazon KDP. So what you're going to do is you're going to tell them your name. Your email address is already there. You're going to type your email address again. Then you're going to create your password here. Then it says type the characters you see in this image. So um, these characters that you see right here you're going to type those characters in then you're going to create you're going to hit here where it says create your account and that is how you create the account all right so after you have entered your name created a password and all of that good stuff you're going to be taken to this page right here which is kindle direct publishing's terms and conditions so once you get to this page, of course, you're going to click that you agree. And then after that, you're going to be taken to the next page. Now, this page right here says your account information is incomplete to publish a book. You will need to create complete this. So you're going to uh, click this button right here where it says update now. Once you get there, you have to fill out all your information. Um, you're going to have to fill out your full name because it says to make your book available for sale and so you can get paid for sales on Amazon. Please fill in the fields below. Once your account is complete, you can start publishing. Then up here, of course, it says to publish a book, you would need to co complete this. So you cannot publish a book on Amazon KDP with Amazon, the Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing platform until you complete this uh, comp company publisher information i feel like i can't hardly talk anyways so it's going to have your name or your company name you can change this if you want to if you want this to be your name or if you want this to be your publishing company's name you can put that here if your company uh isn't legally established then you can use your own name then of course here you're going to select the country now if you click the little drop down it shows you all the countries that you can publish in using the Amazon KDP platform. So just look for your country on here. If your country's not on here, then that probably means you can't publish in your country, your particular country. So of course, mine is the United States. Then you're gonna put your address. You're gonna put your city, state, zip, phone. Then you're gonna come to this place right here 
where it's uh, complete your tax information. So you're going to click there. This box is going to pop up to ask you, do you want to save your changes? Um, you would click. You can say that you want to save the changes and continue. Um, it's not going to let me do it unless I either discard the changes and continue. So then, of course, you're going to get to this tax page right here. Now, if you are uh, in the U.S., then this right here is like an interview, and it'll guide you through a step-by-step -step process to submit required U.S. tax information to Amazon and subsidiaries. Now, if you're not in the United States, it tells you what you'll need. You know, if it says you will need U.S. tax information number and or foreign income tax identification number if applicable. So that's for people that are not in the United States. It tells you what you need right here. Um, if you don't want to give them an electronic signature, then you need a printer to print this form out and submit it back to Amazon. Now, um, what you're going to do is they're going to ask you this little survey question right here. And of course, I'm U.S., so I would click yes in the question right here it says select your response based on the individual or business who will receive income from amazon or amazon subsidiary so i would click yes in the box and save and continue then here is going to go and it's going to take me um to this right here um i will just click okay let me explain this part here your federal tax classification is what you use on your tax forms so if you are an individual of course you would click that but if you have an established corporation or an llc or some other legal business then you would click that but for the purpose of this video this uh, tutorial i'm going to click individual sole proprietor and of course you're going to put your name business name um the country that you're in again I would choose the United States because that's where I'm at. And then uh, you would fill out all your information there. Then after that, you would put your EIN. If you have an employee identification number, you get that from the IRS. If you have one of those, you can use that or you can use your social security number. Once you finish with all of that information, you can, uh, you would save and continue, but I'm going to exit because I don't want to do all that. okay so once you're finished with all of that then you're going to go back here to your um, company publisher information and you go down to where it says your royalty <laughs> royalty payments and you have to add a bank account in order to receive eft or wire payments for royalty earned on amazon marketplaces now when it says bank account is really any card that has a routing number because they're going to send you they're going to send your money by direct deposit so if you have like a net spin card or something like that then you can still get paid with the amazon kdp program um you just have to have the routing number and you would just use it like you would uh set up a direct deposit account because that's what this is direct deposit as soon as the money is available they will send it directly to that account that you have on file so you don't have to have an actual bank account you can use a debit card to you to do this as long as that card has a routing number now you can't use paypal or anything like that because paypal does not have a routing number all right so if you don't have a card or uh, some kind of banking account then they're going to pay you by check and i believe when it gets to a hundred dollars then they'll cut you a check but if you have the eft then you can make they'll send whatever you make there but once you set this up once you add your bank account information this is where you would add your um you know once you hit that it's going to ask you where's your bank located you're going to put your information in there it's going to ask do you want to have it in the checking account or the savings account then you will have your account number routing number name of the bank done that's it and if you have like a net spin card or something like that 
it would be the this information is provided with a net spend card okay and then once you add that information it's going to automatically update for all of these right here so you don't have to individually go in and update each one of these and you have a publisher code over here if you ever need it for anything then after that you're going to save and after that you're ready to start publishing so that is how you set up an account with kdp um, the K kindle direct publishing platform that is where how you set up your account and that's how you get started publishing you can't publish any books until you set up this account though and then once you know you get ready to start publishing your books will go here in the bookshelf you can see how many books you've actually sold by clicking on your reports tab which obviously i don't have anything because for one i haven't published any titles with this account and I haven't even, you know, did anything yet. Okay, so that is all for this video. Hopefully this really answered your questions. If you had any questions after watching that first video, hopefully this answered those questions for you. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Dr. Sandra N. Peoples. You, if you have any questions about publishing, you can check out my website at sandranpeoples.com or you can email me at coachsand at gmail.com. Have a great day.